Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for a weekly angel reading for February the 22nd through the 28th, 2016. So, as you can see, I was uh, shuffling the cards, and the theme card for the week, the Archangel Oracle card, um, fell out of my hands when I was shuffling. I, I tried to get it control it but it just fell out and it flipped over and so I just laid it down here and I'll begin with that in just a few moments but to see what the significance of this card this is the first time that's ever happened to me um, while trying to lay the cards out I, I usually don't see them um, before you do so I just shuffle them lay them out um, face down. So let's just take a moment to take a deep breath and just collect our minds into a place where we can find inner peace and where we can just allow any challenges that we may be perceiving, that may be coming towards us. And they're showing me sort of the horns of a ram. So, you know, if you're feeling um, as though you are kind of, I don't know, the word just comes to me, sort of a, a face off. But as the information is coming to you, or insights, or ideas, they may be presenting, uh, coming to you in a way that may seem challenging, but somehow I get the sense that they're opening you up, helping you to just open up. Like, I feel like, you know, and God is coming through here with this sort of um, ram's horn. There's a sense of that there's a... a of trying to open up the doors that you've been uh, keeping locked, where you find yourself sort of um, sort of hiding in there, and it's sort of a sense of uh, you being ready and just needing a little nudge to release yourself to to unleash your own power your own god potential and so they want you to know that you're on the right path they want you to know where you are you're being fully supported where you are is where you need to be and you're being fully supported through the rewards that these changes will bring and these are all changes of abundance so as you accept this they want you to not worry what they want you to do is they write the word easy they want you to take it easy and, and what i'm feeling them say is they want you to take it easy be easy with yourself be easy with others they are giving me a sense that you're in the drive they're showing me a steering wheel so the the sense I get from this is that you're in the driver's seat right now. And you have more control than you realize, but you're afraid of that control. You're afraid, you, you feel very vulnerable about being in that position. Everybody wants to be the driver, but it's like you are not... You're afraid of the responsibilities of your the choices that you can make. I mean, you get to d decide which direction you're going to go. And it, it's kind of like we would like for the universe to have that mapped out for us. It makes us feel better um, that we, the universe, knows what we're supposed to be doing. And so we're supposed to just be following that. But the universe is following your heart. Your heart is the steering wheel. And the universe blesses whatever your heart has made choices about. 
and based on the experiences that you're living in the moment and and have lived that have allowed you to arrive at this decision at this uh, decision within your heart this desire that is being offered this vibration of of alignment that is coming forward this brings for you the insights this brings the clarity this is where the knowing comes from do you see that the knowing that you're expecting that is already mapped out for you is coming from the moment and you're fighting that and they want you to to release that struggle they want you to release it and they just want you to open yourself avail yourself to your heart avail yourself to what you're you're launching through your desires they're just sort of showing me sitting in a cockpit of a plane and it's ready for takeoff in some instances some of you have already taken off and so you have to keep easing the resistance and taking one, one step at a time and paying attention to the information that comes to you, trusting it and following it. They show me a book and like you're like it's sort of slowly closing. And they're saying, don't shut down the information. Don't don't close don't close your eyes or turn your head or um, whatever it, it means when you just as something is about to happen you decide to give up on life you you want to close the book you you wanted the information you want it you want to you want to be open so just stay remain there okay remain there and just take a look at what's available and don't be afraid of your desires. Don't worry that you've made a mistake. They're writing again that you're on the right path. Don't worry about that you've made some mistake because now that you've made the choice, you're not quite sure. Of course, your ego is going to speak up. What did you expect? I mean, come. we really have to just be open to the process. The ego is going to, you're going to have an expansion, a thought of expansion, and your ego is going to criticize it. You know, it, this is the same thing that kind of happens in life. You know, there's always going to be someone who's going to criticize something that you're doing, and it really has nothing to do with you. And they don't even realize it. It doesn't have anything to do with the person that they're criticizing. Nobody is, is, throwing you off, you see. And so you have to understand that what they're criticizing and what your ego is criticizing is has to do with the fear that's within them and a fear that's within you that allows your ego to do that. So it just keeps, it, what you can look at it is that it, it keeps you aware of what you have active that is contrary to your desire so that you can practice placing your focus more on your purpose that that God is helping you to manifest use it as a as a tool to open your eyes don't 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 get you know, unsettled by the criticisms of your ego that come from outside of you. It's just making you aware, oops, you know, you, you're, you're keeping active this insecurity. And, and it's a blessing so that you, you let, can let go of it and, and start practicing that, the activation of that criticism and redirect your attention. Because remember, it's, you know, someone will say to me, oh, I've been out of balance, but it's not you because the source within you is fully in alignment. It's what you focus upon that's out of the alignment of your source 
or a part of it. And so you have to choose constantly to focus where you are most aligned. Okay? So let's just take a look into this card with the moon cycles. And this is Archangel Haniel. And the card says, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and, capital, and capitalize upon these cycles. So the first thing that as I was reading and was trying to read, notice how you the moon, the word feelings were coming through and interrupting my words. So, you know, this Archangel Haniel is really asking you to pay attention to how you feel. Pay attention to the feelings that kind of cycle um, for you um, vibrationally. Notice, um, in other words, surface. So notice how what feelings seem to surface at particular points or cycles in your life. So right now, this can become a powerful tool for you. So this place where you are right now in your progress, let's put it that way, of your process, what emotions are coming up for you? What feelings are coming up for you that are familiar, pleasant or unpleasant for you? And, and what can you do to become aware of them, not to try to fix them, but try to be aware of that this comes up every time you begin to do this. And so if it's un indicating feelings of unworthiness, then you can start to focus on the things, put, start to practice what you are able to feel worthy about in your life. What, where, where do you feel that you are, where, where do you see your value or where do you feel valuable? What, what things allow you to feel truly valued and valuable in our society, in our universe, within, within yourself? And pay attention to those. Give that your active attention. So, so because at these times, you start to give more of your attention to your lack of worth. Instead of, you know, beating that dead horse and trying to fix it, and more you, the more you try to wrestle with it, the more you make it active, okay? So what they're saying is, is that these feelings, when they surface, whether they're negative or positive, they can, they're all, they can still be uh, very rewarding to you and very beneficial as they help you to, to, to see where it is that you're, where you're, you're leaning in your bright vibrational offering. Are you leaning more towards sabotaging yourself as you are just about to, you know, strike goal? Or are you, are you um, able to access greater um, information and understanding does, does this help you to evolve? And you get to choose just by paying attention to your alignment, paying attention to the feelings, you pay attention to your alignment. I know that when this reading, for the reading is for the week, um, that just is on the heels of the full, a full moon, which would have been in the weekend, uh, this, the weekend preceding the dates for this reading. So, so know that this is also indicating that this is going to that moon would have brought up a lot of um, powerful and insightful emotions, um, psychic revelations. So this full moon, I keep seeing like like tools, um, like you would work plowing a field. So this is really giving you tools to really um, sow a better, um, to, to something that will sow the seeds of what you're truly trying to accomplish in your life. So just pay very careful attention to this. Let me just tune in and see if Archangel 
Haniel has any other insights. And so she's showing me uh, a movie screen, which for me is a symbol of just really getting a broader uh, perspective, it's, you know, seeing the bigger picture. And she's showing me a, a, a small pot in the center of this. Um, so this week, there's definitely a sense of new seeds being planted um, or more that not so much being planted, but there's opportunities for growth. All right. Because I see that it's just that the leaves or what of whatever that plant is, is about to, to um, bud and, you know, open up. Also, and she's showing me my symbol for an expansion, deep connection and of awareness as it, whenever I see a tree. And this has a very thick trunk, um, which means feeling very connected. Um, and that these emotional vulnerabilities are going to expand and ground your spiritual connection and, and through your, with your guidance system. So very profound. Okay, so let's take a look at the cards for the week, as I spent quite a bit of time there. Okay, so the week starts off with the Four of Water. And this card is about missing or not always seeing things. So you may be missing an opportunity and so or, or not seeing or paying attention. Um, you know, you're focused on the the three cups, but meanwhile, you're not really paying attention to the one that's being handed to you. So um, you want to, this card for the beginning of the week is an indication for you to, as like a heads up. So, you know, um, it's like if you, the sense I'm getting, if you were, you know, somewhere and somebody was throwing a ball and they, and they say to you, uh, heads up, you know, which means indicate for you to look up. So keep your eyes open, okay? Keep your eyes open for the beginning of the week. And and since this is about emotions and relationships, pay attention. Keep your, you know, stay, be aware of the gifts of your feelings and how they indicate clearly the truth that you're seeking. Also, I'm also here and pay for those of you who don't always notice, you know, some of you maybe um, have been recently really questioning yourselves about relationships and why you're single and, you know, beating yourself up and, um, and they want you to, to, for, for those of you who ask this question, this is saying that you are always so busy beating yourself up, you know, feeling unworthy that you don't notice that others are checking you out, that others are are engaging your energy. And so you really need to, to look up more often. They need you to get your head out of the sand, get out of that pool of unworthiness and start noticing um, the attention that others are giving you for various reasons, romantically, appreciation of your profound gifts and talents, but just even noticing any kind of appreciation coming towards you will start to activate a sense of worthiness that allow you to start attracting all kinds and all forms of worthy relationships. So this is very important for you to practice this. I feel like this card is an advice card that will that is like will catch will heal many different aspects of your being many aspects of your wanting not just in relationships but it will heal many things as you allow yourself to notice how others are appreciating you this will this will be very profound okay all right let me um just check tune in to see if there's any additional information yeah it's so you got, what they're saying is, they're showing me the big screen again, and they're showing me that you're going to, at the beginning of the week, you're going to, a lot about your vulnerabilities 
are going to be revealed to you, but through an eye perspective of source, they show me the third eye, which means you're going to, your perception of yourself is going to be healed and your perception of others as well, so that you are no longer focusing on the negative, but you're going to start to see the positive in yourself and others and the world. Okay. And here we have the five, a major arcana card, which is traditionally that high priest or that hierophant. And this card is entitled Unity. So this card really speaks to the conventions, um, you know, the status quo. Um, it could reflect, you know, establishments um, and or our religious traditional values or religious uh, viewpoints. But in, in this card, there's, the, there's a sense of finding uh, harmony, finding common ground in the middle of the week, um, finding common ground with all the variety, okay? So I get this sense that something is going to come through um, as you shift within yourself and you and, and, and you start to judge less the variety, the contrast, and you find yourself. You you instead of using it in a way a form of resistance where you keep isolating yourself and from your own inner self discovery that you allow you find common ground that allows you to find your own unique authentic truth in this diversity. It's like it helps you to, the feeling I'm getting is that it helps you to define who you are or helps you to recognize who you want to be. You know, um, another aspect that is coming to me in this is that you, you are going to make up your mind about yourself and what your truth is from everything that you've lived you know, things that you were taught, beliefs that you had just accepted, and you're going to find some kind of common ground, but you're going to, through that, you're going to find yourself, your own truth. So some kind of realization, some profound lessons um, that come through number five, challenges, change is going to come about for you. Let me just tune into this card and see if there are any additional messages here. And it's really more of the same. They keep showing me this big picture. So this is going to be a week of, they show me this big screen, of you really, um, of expansion, of understanding. And they're showing me that is going to have a profound impact on how you start manifesting as you move forward. That it's going to be almost sort of, um, it's going to have this kind of effect of joy. They just wrote the word profound joy and rewards to the point that your manifestation process will double. Okay. When, uh, well, I won't share the, the symbol for that, but for me, but um, it is phallic. And when I see two, it just means double manifestation. So, it, you know, and information uh, so this is going to double, double the impact of what you've been trying to um, manifest. Okay, so let's take a look at the card for the end of the week. All right, and this card, so we got two water cards. So again, feelings, um, relationships. So definitely this is going to, this, this, Shift and this really works with this, this this card and what they were just saying is that this is going to allow you to to really feel or have this urge to move in a new direction to move and all of this I really like this card because it's about alignment of feeling here and and moving oh moving more towards your goal moving more towards the outcome 
of your desire, feeling, of your source, that, that profound relationship of alignment within yourself. And so you, 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 you may say, well, oh God, I've already made or already started. But, but remember, the process is never done. It's always a refinement. So for some of you, that if, if you've already made those changes, this week is more of about of a refinement of the process for you. And this is always welcomed, and we should, as we, be, we, we refine our process, our, our actions, our, the movement, um, the flow. And so this may mean that you pick up another, another whiff of, of the energy uh, or the outcome going in a, a, new, uh, a more specific direction and moving with that, accepting that and, and um, moving with that. There is a profound acceptance about this card too, where you realize, you know, you, you leave, you, you, you accept that you have to leave what was behind you. And, and as you realize, you can see he's moving towards that, that light. You, you're very clear that you're following your light, the light of your inner being, and that these experiences were not less, but they added up to all that allowed you to discover that, which was kind of what was said here, right? So it's very profound. Um, so you see yourself moving through the week. Be Here we have this great light again, um, where something is calling you. So the light of the moon, the, the, the moon representing that, that inner light of introspection of our divine, that inner light of divinity. See, so the, there is a very profound effect that is that our spiritual being is having on the transformations in our lives at this time. Okay, um, let me just tune in, getting close to the time. But, yeah, so not really anything extra here, but the, the sense I'm going to, I'm getting is, is that you're going to feel very comfortable with this change. Um, it, it, there's a, a feeling of, um, of, of, of desire, of feeling uh, uh, and pleasure that you that you know just feeling good in your skin you know you're going to be out there kind of naked but it, it you're almost comfortable with that you know so comfortable in your your own skin that you're not afraid to bear it all so that's what they're just showing me so that's a, a positive thing that you will feel very good about what you the choices you've already made or the ones you're going to make Depends on where you are in the process. All right, and let's look at the card I already pulled um, from underneath the deck. So this is the Seven of Water here. And this card always represents what's going, the underlying influence here. So this card is usually about complex decisions um, and feelings, you know, that your feelings kind of get stirred up and you don't know where to focus. So I'm kind of feeling like, that it's this this searching for clarity, this um, that that the 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 challenges that you've probably been feeling about trying to make the right decision has is what has allowed. So this really confirms what they were talking about here. It's all of this emotional kind of chaos is one way to put it. Um, you know, not feeling like you, you know, you, you understood your, the compass of your heart, that your compass was all over the place, that you were kind of out of alignment and you really weren't centered and, and, and you, and you, it really bothered you, but it, it laid the foundation for what you're going to experience in this week. It laid the foundation for you to discover it more clearly. So just because you can't get yourself together doesn't mean the universe isn't always focusing on alignment for you. 
and and bring in opportunities that will help you to discover that. And that's what the, I kind of get a sense about this week um, and what this card means. So this card also is a point of uh, offering advice. If you want to look at this means focus on what you're passionate about. I can't tell you which one of these colors you should be drawn to. Only you can decide that. But know that there's no right decision to make. There's only following the desire. Follow your desire. Don't worry about doing what's right or wrong. We've been saying this now for a while. But do but follow your desire. Make it as simple as that. Okay? And 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 so in this week and moving forward, let that be what you focus upon. What do I truly what is my desire? And I find well, it's even better not to ask the question because that implies that you don't know. Just listen to your heart. Just listen to where, feel the impact of energy that has the most uh, momentum, that has the most, that where you feel most inspired, where you just feel like, you know, I don't know how many ways I could say it, but I think you get me. And, and so just focus upon that. Don't ask questions too often, especially... Because when you say, I don't know, or what am I supposed to be doing, you and in, 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 in your vibrational offering, this feeling of, of mixed understanding is there, then you're just going to keep attracting more mixed understanding. So accept that you know on some level, and that, and that way you ease the resistance and it'll come through more clearly, or things will show up in your experience that allows you to understand that. So I send you lots of love and angel blessings. And if you're looking for an angel reading, feel free to contact me at theangelschool.com where you can find a description link at the description link below this video, as well as join us on Facebook for the daily card readings. Um, that link is always is also found there. And so I um, send you lots of love and God bless you all in this week and all that unfolds for you and what you discover about yourself. Until next week, God bless you.